Today we're going to talk about the Okuma OSB 5020. Uh, I have two front controls here. Uh, so we've removed the CRT monitor, the original 12 inch color monitor, sometimes monochrome, uh, inside it. And as you see, this one here has a, a front bezel and the function keys are actually embedded in this plastic um, bezel. And this control panel here, it's, we've just removed it for, we'll show you the install. So when you're, the CRT monitor comes off, uh, you'll notice the user controls. So the user controls, there's, they don't use something simple like a connector that plugs in. They're physically attached there. So these have to stay. Uh, so came up with a, an LCD that reuses the user controls and we get a bigger screen. So we ended up putting a 12.1 inch LCD panel in the Akuma OSP 5020. So with, when you're removing your bezel, it's two screws here, four screws off the bottom, and there's four nuts here that come off and the bezel comes off and then you're left with what you see on this side. So uh, on the OSP 5020 LCD upgrade kit that Monotech Mac makes, uh, this is the design. Uh, as you see, the user controls are all across the bottom, very tight fit. Uh, it's a pretty big package to try to get inside this control. So uh, it goes on the front, mounts on the front, versus a lot of other LCD retrofits. This bolts onto the front, has some foam around the edges to keep the seal in tight. And as you see at the bottom, the, the holes line up with that. So when you're assembling it, it sends a, a bracket with a simple thumb screw on it. And on the back, you'll see the bracket that attaches to it. So this just simply pushes to the back of the control. You can get a screwdriver on there if you want to get it tighter. And then at the bottom, see if you had your user controls, which are attached to the keypad controls, um, they would sit underneath, you push them up front, the button ends up to be level height with these this piece of metal here, and supplies the screws. You put the screw on the top, use your control, and then the nut, and that'll hold it in place just like that. Once you have your four screws in place, uh, Monitor provides a quick peel and stick function keys. Separate in front. That's your OSP blown loose because I don't have these controls attached. But uh, nice and tight. Just go around with a screwdriver and tighten everything up. And it's nice and place. Pressure, pressure of everything pushes down there, creates a nice seal along the edges, get the oil and dust out. And then you can put it back in your machine, put the plastic bezel on it, and start running your machine. Thank you very much.